and we are live. Okay, folks. Uh, well, I will give this talk about pop telemetry with poop, uh, mainly to show what we had done so far and what the future wait for us. Okay. So first, like who I am, uh, probably if you watched the talk yesterday, you already know who I am. But if you don't, uh, I'm Deco, and I've been a senior software engineer at Hat Hat for for the last year. Okay, so basically, what what is telemetry? You know, like uh, in a very uh, quick way to say, like telemetry is data emitted from a system about the behavior of that system. You know, like this could help us uh, to understand uh, how healthy, like how uh, healthy. The application is or any sort of issues we could have in about a thing. What is the open telemetry itself? Open telemetry is um, a collection of APIs and development kits and some tools. And it's formed uh, after the merge of open tracing and the open census project. And of course, like why we choose open telemetry? You know, like I believe the first point is because it's incubated by the cloud, uh, the cloud native uh, foundation. You know, like which is uh, is one of the responsible for Kubernetes, for example, and a bunch of other projects. Uh, open telemetry also supports a wide range of Python frameworks like Django, Flask, Fast API, and a huge number of other uh, frameworks, not only for, just to say, no. And it's, an open telemetry is also supported by lots of platforms, just like Sentry, Dynatrace, Elastic, and AWS, just for that example. And where are we, like, right now? You know, like, we have uh, a development tool called OCIM, and we have an open telemetry profile for that, you know, so we, this could make uh, development of anything related to it, to it very easy, you know, like it basically starts uh, the open telemetry collector, a Grafana and a Prometheus instance, all together with those things, uh, together with POOP, so we could immediately start to receive um, telemetry data. You know, just let me try to, uh, if I did like everything right, you know, like all the demo gods will help me uh, right now. So let me try to explore. I already have some metrics here. And I'm getting some data from my book instance running right now. And we already seen some data being received here. Uh, let me try to start a new upload here. And this is uh, your OCIM, right? Yeah, it's my OCIM running. Okay, I'm trying to push more things into my file repo. And we expect to see more things coming and going here. Let me see if I got here, active requests. And so this is just like a quick demonstration of, okay, like we are receiving uh, the data from, from Poop itself. Okay, so what else we have? Uh, we already have support for open telemetry on our Poop operator side. You know, like we already have it configured and it basically like it starts a, an open telemetry collector together with our poop, with the poop deployment and expose that collector as a service. You know, so we could easily attach to a service monitor and check on the metrics we were all, you know, like to check if things are going smoothly. Uh, we already have uh, the poop core API instrumented using open telemetry. You know, like it's receiving data from the Poop API. And right now it's receiving like very basic information. 
basically we got like uh, HTTP codes for errors, uh, HTTP methods, and the request duration. So we could basically get uh, how much time, how much time a request is taking to be you know, like replied back to our user. And well, this is the cherry over that kit. Like this is a test machinery. Uh, this is a, was a huge effort from some of our folks here. And basically, like we have um, some code, you know, like to test this integration between Poop and the OpenTelemetry library itself. So we can generate like spans of traces or metrics and collect. Uh, on our site, you know, like on test site, uh, those spans and check to see if the data is being sent like correctly and as expected. So, what await us? Uh, right now, we have like lots of questions about uh, about our instance of, you know, like how much time we took to answer a request, you know, like how many requests we failed and how much data we transferred or we redirected our, our users and how much data we have stored here. And please, like, you could easily insert another question here. And I believe like we could answer this using OpenTelemetry. Right now we have an epic uh, just to track our efforts. Basically we have like four more tasks here. I will talk about it but we can like you could easily follow this app just to understand we where we at right now about uh, developing this uh, around poop core content we already have it it working in a past time you know but we decided to put more effort on submitting some contributions to the open telemetry project itself you know like uh, we use a uh, IO HTTP server under the hood for serving content here. Uh, but the project itself, like the open telemetry itself, um, didn't support this IO HTTP server. So we decided to contribute uh, some code to instrument this. We finally got it merged and we hope to see this on the next release of the open telemetry python contrib lib so this could easily make things easy you know <laughs> on, on getting telemetry from book card content and this you know like together with the with the test machinery you know like i believe we will get uh book card content supported you know like with telemetry in, in no time uh also i believe most of the answers that we look here that we are looking after uh could be deployed could be answered you know like using hooks you know like you can basically like write very little python code which can be attached uh, to the hooks mechanism of the of the open telemetry uh, instrumentation so we can basically like introspect uh, the replies that we are sending to our, to our users just to understand like just to get the data that we want for an example um, when a user requests a package you know like we could just uh, send you know like in the headers like I don't know the size of that artifact so those hooks could get that header you know like in send to the to our telemetry backends you know so we could for example like uh, understand how much data we are transferring you know like from the repos to our users and also for poop card worker you know like uh, we really want to know more about the life cycle of a task you know like um when this task was dispatched and when this task you know like changes this is state to running you know like how much time it took to do those things uh when changes between all the possible states you know like and also uh what are the reasons that that test failed you know like i know we can get from logs 
And these are one of the point of view, one of the point of views for for the telemetry itself, you know, like to see these on the logs, but we also could get some metrics and also traces about those things. And by the end, like I want to share here my fifth sense about the future of these, you know, like what the things I personally want to see happening here. Uh, I really want to us to get rid of instrumenting agent. Right now we are using a sort of chin, you know, or a wrapper that encapsulates Unicorn to extract telemetry data, you know, like from the open telemetry library itself. This is a piece of code from the open telemetry, but we can get like uh, get rid of get rid of it and use instrumentation code, you know, like instrumentation uh, library itself inside of our code, you know, like uh, and what could come from it, you know, like, I believe like we've got better uh, in a better situation to test, you know, like right now we had like, we struggled with the, with this uh, telemetry agent, you know, like this communication agent, just to get this data. And I believe we'll get like less complexity on the image entry points. Like right now we have to deal with it, you know, like read some uh, environment variables, just to understand if we're gunning if, if we are going to run the unicorn, you know, like calling on our application, or we're going to have to, you know, like use the open telemetry and instrumentation agent to then call the unicorn and so on, you know, like this could ease us um, on these image entry point issues. Also, I really want to see some tooling to instrument our code, you know, like to easily go to a point on our code and mark you know, like us with a, uh, with a factory or something like that, you know, like where we could easily uh, instrument that code and see that as metrics or some traces, you know, like, uh, I know that there are some environments where we can basically turn on other profiling tools we have here, you know, like, so this could help us to debug uh, some behaviors, you know, like on, let's say more complex environments, you know, like staging or even production sites, if it's, uh, if we are allowed to do that, you know, like, and we can gain like this granularity, you know, like right now, open telemetry can only check, let's say the peripheral side of the application itself, you know, like we can see like every one of the function callings that are happening inside of our application right now. You know, like we can see like the request coming, we can see like the first steps uh, on let's say on Django area, you know, like, but after some point, we basically don't get like uh, a very detailed scenario of what's happening inside of our code. And tooling, you know, like creating those, tool, those tools, you know, like could help the, uh, us with that. And by the end, uh, I really want to see some improvements on logging. Logging right now, it's not a very stable thing on open telemetry, you know, like uh, on the Python libraries for open telemetry, you know, like right now they are considered experimental. So I really want to see uh, these have an improvement so we could uh, reach some sort of, let's say a better correlation, you know, like between metrics uh, traces and logging itself, you know, like those trees, those three uh, things, you know, like those three uh, data, types of data, you know, like could be uh, really useful, you know, like when we're trying to debug uh, any sort of issues we're having. And basically that's it. Thank you so much for watching this and well, I'm open for questions. Grant, please. So, Deca, you showed us a little bit of, you know, OCI is up and with the right profile. So, open telemetry is installed and collecting data. And you showed us here's me building a, a, a report, a graph to, for me to follow. Um, do we have anything canned? Do we have a bunch of here's four useful um, Grafana graphs? 
that if you just load them this way, then you'll be able to get all that without somebody having to touch all the knobs. Because Grafana is really amazing, but there's a lot of buttons. Is Do we have any idea for, for sure. things to come out, come out of the container right out of the bat? For sure. We, I believe we had a previous version of some Grafana dashboards already into the, the OCIM profile. You know, like we gonna probably gonna need a rework on these, you know, okay. uh, because we had some changes. And, but probably like, I believe very soon we're gonna have like ready a dashboard just for, you know, like introspect anything we have here. Cool. At least cool. with very basic um, telemetry data. Uh, yeah, just having something that where you could see an initial cut is a big leg up for people learning how to how to use this for the first time cool. for Thank sure you. for sure who's next any other questions folks any other curiosity yeah so question about the future work you mentioned uh possibly getting sure. rid of the Age, uh, what did you call it? The agent or the introspect agent? Yeah, yeah. So, would that require us to basically write some kind of middleware, or how? How would that no, no. code be introduced? Have you considered this or not? For sure, for sure, for sure. But basically, like, it's very simple, you know, like, we just have to put some lines of open telemetry libs, you know, like, inside of our code. Of course, like, not our code directly, you know, but basically, like, our entry point, our Django entry point, you know, we just have to put some codes there and also some basic configuration, you know, like, uh, basically, like, which protocol you're going to use to send the telemetry data to the collecting agent or you know like where it's located where what is the his url and i believe like it's very basic stuff you know and i believe this could be way easier to do since we have test machine right now cool thank you folks any other question? And I'll give you one. I will give you two. I believe that's it, folks. Thank you so much for watching this. And see you next time.